Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at ndpro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you a real cool new vSphere 5 feature called EFI, the extensible firmware interface. So let's hop over to my vCenter server and I've created a virtual machine called EFI and this virtual machine, when I'm going to the options, I can choose whether to use the old BIOS or the new extensible firmware interface so I'm hopping over to options I'm going to boot options and here you can choose between BIOS or EFI I'm choosing for EFI and I'm forcing my virtual machine to boot in into EFI to show you how cool EFI can be so I've enabled EFI on this virtual machine and when the configuration is completed I'm going to, going to power on this virtual machine and uh, after powering on the virtual machine it will be automatically booted into EFI. So let's go to the VM client and let's see what's happening in this virtual machine. The EFI virtual machine is powering on. And let's see if I can make a connection to the console of this virtual machine. Yes, it's possible. And here you have the option to continue and boot from the default uh, configuration. You can also go to the boot manager and the boot manager will show you the different uh, boot devices or you can uh, boot go to the boot maintenance manager when I'm going to the boot manager I can choose between four options the normal SCSI disk the CD DVD drive or the network and the fourth option is the most interesting because you can also boot into an internal shell and it's a bit you can compare it uh, a bit with the old DOS days and you will get a shell from your BIOS in fact it's not, it's not a BIOS it's a successor of the BIOS but you can do a lot of handy tricks inside this BIOS uh, I can put in help and with help I get a complete list with all the commands and one of the commands is PCI and PCI can be used to view all the PCI devices that are installed and the cool thing about EFI is that the drivers are already loaded into EFI so the guest OS uh, is using devices from the motherboard but the drivers are uh, uh, loaded into EFI and I can ask for a list with drivers when I put in drivers it's also possible to get access to the file system so when I'm going to file system 0 double point I have mounted the file system and I'm able to see the contents of this disk I can even use an editor to edit files on this disk when I'm editing uh, user opts then I'm inside this file and I can edit this file so it's a real cool software EFI and uh, you can use it to uh, run Apple OX 10.6 into a virtual machine and you can also use it for Linux when you are enabling it on a Windows machine you have to be careful because Windows won't boot with EFI it doesn't recognize the EFI so Eric Sloof is signing off have much fun with your vSphere 5 environment bye bye